lending a helping hand. That's what some Americans are doing for federal workers affected by the partial government shutdown. John Lawrence has the story. Hundreds of thousands of government workers are still punching the clock without getting paid. We remain very positive, still come into work and do our job. And those efforts aren't going unnoticed. It seems like they're being ignored or being punished for something that they have no power over. Pizza boxes were delivered to airport workers in Lexington, Kentucky. In upstate New York. Oh, please. We, we appreciate it's it. just a way of saying thanks. Actor and pilot Treat Williams bought breakfast and lunch for employees at Albany International on Tuesday. Well, I never mix pancakes in politics. <laughs> but I, I would say that, you know, I think when I, if I would ask, you know, that, that these are the people who are getting hurt. In Hawaii, LNL Hawaiian Barbecue is offering free meals to federal workers and their families. They're still working without pay, and I really feel bad for them. Other companies like Kraft and organizations like the Atlanta Food Bank are providing help to those in need. As federal workers get assistance, they wait for Washington, D.C. to resolve this standoff. We have drugs, we have criminals, we have gangs, and the Democrats don't want to do anything about it. The last time I spoke with him was when he walked out, threw a temper tantrum and walked out. So we haven't heard from him since then. I'm John Lawrence reporting.